and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Grixis fires. That's right, we're finally getting to some Grixis fires of invention. This is a deck that I know a lot of y'all have been asking me to try out, so here we are. Um, put this specific 75 together myself of like cards that I wanted to play in it and have a couple of um, couple of, of cards that you may not see it as much in a fires or like in a Grixis deck, especially we have two main deck Noxious Grasp. Just <clears throat> hey Naismith, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. Green is just everywhere. And green is really is really good in this format. And I want Noxious Grasps <laughs> to deal with all these green decks everywhere. And so um we're gonna go ahead and uh, play two Noxious Grasp here in our main deck, um, even though uh, even though it could be a dead card against a lot of people, but even if it is a dead card against different decks, if we're playing against a deck that does not have green or white in it, we have a lot of card advantage in the deck, especially with um, Fae of Wishes getting to our sideboard and everything that we can make up for it. So that's okay, but I want to have the uh, really efficient removal spell in there also. All right, so uh, besides that, of course, the, the core of our deck, of course, is Fire of Invention. It allows us to play two spells a turn. Um, uh, so, yeah, that, that allows us to, to play two spells a turn, but um, only two spells a turn. And the, the spells are free as long as they have CMC less than or equal to the number of lands we control. So we can cast two really expensive spells in the same, um, in the same turn. And that's kind of something that Grixis could really use because Grixis does have a lot of expensive spells and a lot of kind of clunkier spells that it's it's sometimes hard to double spell with Grixis, especially with these powerful things. But having Fires of Invention allows us to do that. So as you can see here, you know, like I have I don't have like a, a whole lot of power in the deck, though, still with that being said, with just having in the main deck with having just two Enter the God Eternals, a Ral and three Nicol Bolas. But this Fey of Wishes is going to be a huge part of the deck. This granted, um, this sorcery adventure. Three and a blue for granted, choosing a non-creature card you own from outside of the game. We're going to be doing that quite a bit. Um, and so usually that's pretty expensive, spending four mana for just a draw one card. You know, that's that's pretty expensive. But with Fires of Invention, it doesn't matter that, it, that it's expensive. So our sideboard, we have tons of one ofs besides the two negates. Um, we have tons of one-ofs and tons of good, powerful one-ofs down here for us to be able to go find, depending on how many lands we have. You know, so I got I got my third Enter the God Eternals over there in the sideboard if we need another life gain card. I also really like how Enter the God Eternals matches up against Questing Beast, how it kills Questing Beast, and then also the 4-4 four -four that uh, um, is here gets to be able to block Questing Beast. Um, and then, of course, our fourth Nicol Bolas Dragon God, over there as well and then liliana ugin agent of treachery command the dread horde um if command the dread horde works so we have some really big top top end cards i just realized that we can't really grab agent of treachery so that um so agent of treachery doesn't really work too well actually because that's a creature so um i did have so yeah sean uh six mana chandra and plain white celebration i did have those two cards um in this in this uh let's let's go we'll play plain white celebration then over this agent i just realized that that was not a good idea i could have had manipulate you know because manipulation doesn't work with this i did have those two in before but you know cutting them down i think six mana chandra is probably a card that i'm just not grabbing too often um because like the the plus just like the plus one is not a very fast clock with chandra when you're not doing like other attacking and everything um so um so yeah we'll, we'll get plain white celebration over here i really like as as y'all know um if you saw if you saw me talk about like the teamer invention deck that i played before i really like plain white celebration a ton with fires of invention um and this uh why i really like it in this deck it gives us some more really good life gain you know be able to gain tons of life um but then also the that proliferate you know you can 
So if we if we grab the plain white celebration with fires of invention, we can just untap. We have nothing in play, but we can play two spells if we got seven lands. We can just play Nickel Bullets Dragon God, and then celebration and say proliferate four times to move this up from four to eight, and then minus eight immediately Nickel Bullets and ultimate. And you know if they don't have a legendary creature or planeswalker, they lose the game. So we can we can one shot opponents with Nickel Bullets and plain white celebration there. Um, even if, if we just untap with Nicol Bolas in play, and, you know, maybe Nicol Bolas is at four or five, you know, like if we played Nicol Bolas, ticked up, and they didn't attack it, and then we untap, then we could, we could just Fey, go grab Celebration, Celebration, um, and then Ultimate kind of thing. We would need seven, uh, lands, but. So, yeah, let's give this a try. Yeah, let's give this a try. Yeah, one of the one fires is in the sideboard uh, because of Fay of Wishes being able to go find it. So we have one, we have one of a kind of you know we have one of our fires, one Ritual of Soot, one Nicol Bolas, one Enter the God Eternals. We got one of each of those in the sideboard. Um, yeah. Um, we'll yeah we'll see if we need extra mana seeks. I I don't know. We'll we'll see. Hopefully not. All right, traditional standard ranked. Let's get to some games. Yeah, Casualties of War can can definitely help out. Casualties of War can be nice. But yeah, sorry about that, Boxer Rocks. I'm sorry that... Uh... Sorry to hear that. Hmm. I think I just get rid of Bedevil. Just because Ritual is just a lot more... It's a lot easier to cast. Maybe I should be being... Maybe I should be uh, greedy and play Kaya's Wrath. No, I'm just going to get Cry of the Cranium out of here. Yeah, Theater of Horrors is a mana sink. Um, so yeah, like that, that could be an option. Um, I... I don't think it's too strong of a card though. Like I, I'd probably rather like I would probably rather have um uh Skarg and Hellkite if I want just a card that's a mana sink when you have fires in play. Hey diabetes. What's up? So I don't have a basic mountain. So I did really didn't want to play a basic mountain in here. I don't have very much. Um, I don't have very much red in the deck at all. We're gonna have to draw. <clears throat> we're gonna have to draw some lands. This is kind of the the problem with playing, you know, a bunch of Fey of Wishes and stuff. Like, you know, we do have a whole lot of clunky cards in our deck. You know, so we have three, four drops and a five drop, right now.
Game's not over yet. I want to play this as a blocker. Hey, Bago. Thanks so much there. Um, I don't know if I really have like real strong deck recommendations for climbing the ladder right now with it, with it just being so early. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to have another land. I have 25 in here. Yeah, we do need to hit, we do need to draw four lands, so maybe 25 is not enough. So that should get them a black source for this Golos also. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Trog? Thanks so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Obviously, we would have um, we would have preferred to have. Oh, that's number nine on the day. I was behind one. Obviously, we would have preferred to draw a red source and be able to drop the fires of invention at first. Kenrith is really, really strong in this deck. Kenrith giving all your creatures haste. You know, they make a bunch of zombies. Give them haste. be pretty strong. nothing else to do I don't really have anything good to grab though <laughs> it's when you know you're in a bad spot when none of these cards matter So, um, I do like Ashiok and Amor to Eco, but kind of the problem with them, you know, with putting them in the deck is that then we don't have uh, the ability to go find them with Fey of Wishes. Um, I didn't have the mana to stop Golos with Spyglass, and it, it didn't really matter the, the following turn. We were about to, we were going to be dying with that Kenrith. But I didn't, yeah, you know, like you still have to spend two mana on Spyglass. I didn't have two extra mana. What's up, collectibles? Thanks for getting us our first sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. If you see this over on the left hand side, we got a 12 hour stream going on tomorrow. We're going to be playing some strong decks 
in ranked um, tomorrow. We're going to have like a, a rank up day, see how close we can get to Mythic. There's more red mana underneath that we couldn't see down there, but but yeah, I, I only need one red source, so it's not like I need tons of red mana, and I I just don't want to have basically just never want to have basic mountain whenever I have a lot of like blue black cards and I have double blue with Narset and then you know double black with Ritual of Soot, triple black with Nicol Bolas. So I have a lot of and you know double blue is Enter the God Eternals. I have a lot of blue black and double blue and double black. And I only have just a, a couple of cards that have red mana. And Bedevil, I can also take out Bedevil for the new... Um, we can cut Bedevil for um, the new knight murderous, for Murderous Rider. We can also do that as well. Yeah, we have we have all the red shock lands. We have we have eleven red sources in here, and then yeah, I have like drawn from dreams that can also help find more red sources as well. And so the only the only red card like so if I take out the devil, like my only red cards are the devil and fires of invention. I think that's it, right? And the one Rao and Nicol Bolas. So I could even take out the devil and play murderous rider instead, and then we're really just looking at fires and Nicol Bolas. Basically, everything is blue-black. All right, what do we get? Casualties and an agent of treachery? That's big game. All right, grabbing another land. So we're going to play Nicol Bolas. Grabbing an untap land. And then it's either another drawn or bay. Um, I think I'll take Drawn. Behold. This is yeah, get rid of those Veil Summers. My dreams dissipate like smoke. Of course, we, we want to hit, like, honestly, we kind of want to hit lands and just get rid of all their lands. That'd be nice, but we got rid of two black sources. Ooh. I was thinking like Tyrant Scorn, you know, could bounce Golos if we needed and it was gonna kill Krasis, like they both kill Krasis, but I, I kinda forgot about Kenrith. Like Grasp kills Kenrith and Tyrant Scorn doesn't. Let's just play the Grasps. Or should I just be playing negates? I probably should be playing these negates. Yeah, I should probably just be playing these negates. We'll, let's just cut these end of the God Eternals. Um, do I think Ral's a better fit than Big Chandra? I don't know. We'll kind of see. I, I'm i not, like, super excited about Big Chandra in the deck. Like, I think the other six mana Planeswalkers are better. The minus three, like, there's a lot of elementals going around as far as the minus three goes. Um... The the plus two just doesn't doesn't um the plus two just doesn't kill people very fast and like so it's really not that valuable to just do like one damage and then two damage and then three damage and, and that's assuming your Chandra sticks around it's not in incredibly valuable with this deck where there's not like other damage things.
yeah, we can, yeah, even when we, like, just because negate doesn't work that great with when we have fires in play doesn't mean that we shouldn't play negate, because we're not going to have negate all the time. Alright, I don't want to select them immediately before we hit this. So they have an, a Knight of Autumn, an Agent of Treachery, Kenrith, Deputy, two Agent of Treachery, Realm Cloak Giant, three Agent of Treachery. That's, that's going to be a card that is going to be tough to beat. One, two, three... Looks like three Veil of Summer. So three Agent of Treachery, three Veil of Summer. Those are going to be difficult. All right, so we'll have double Thought Erasure here. See if we had if we had Basic Mountain, we couldn't double Thought Erasure. Oh, I should Fable Pass it first because of the Surveil. Alright, that was bad by me. Mm. Mm. Yeah, whatever, you can go. So the Once Upon a Time could, you know, like, that does dig them pretty far for an Agent of Treachery. For my type. Oh, I've done so they could find one of those. Before. That's a good draw. These are the uh, um, Army of the Undead Sleeves. Here goes nothing. Well, we found all of our good cards. Do I just take Fire's Fae? What do I want to Fae for if I go Fire's Fae? If we find a seventh land here, I'm going to go grab Plain White Celebration. I think. I guess so. I, Celebration can get back Fabled Passage and Dragon God. Don't 
worry. I got this. Keep an open mind. I've got time. Ugh. So it's gonna be really tough to beat these, um, these agent of treacheries. I kind of wish I had a Tamio in my deck. Hone your prowess. I wish I had a Tamiya on the deck to be able to get back the Unmored Ego. What's our deck's weakness? I'm not exactly sure yet. This is our very first match with the deck. Um, Agent of Treachery this is going to be a difficult card to beat. I should probably go grab Command the Dread Horde. I feel like That's Command the Dread Horde would be good to have. We would just grab Golos, Nickel Bolas, and Narset. They would just bounce the Golos with their Teferi, though. I mean, that's not that great. It's true, they do get to pick up Knight of Autumn with Teferi. That's not bad for me though, you know, just taking a Feo Wishes, like it can be a whole lot worse. So, you know, like, I'll, I'll take that, like that's, so that's one Agent of Treachery gone. No! Here we go. So I was hoping they weren't going to do that. Because we can, I was going to say we can handle that.
And yeah, they could, they obviously they can steal fires. That's really not that big of a deal. No, I am not making this up as I go. That hurts more. We will meet again. If you wish to surrender, put thoughtfulness before action. Agent Treachery is such a messed up card. So they have 27 cards. I wonder if we can also just mill them out. If they take one more, if they do Agent and take one more thing. We may be able to mill them out. Now they're going to just draw nine cards. So they're going to have like, they're going to have all their Veil of Summers. They're going to have everything in their deck. But they have to get rid of these Agent of Treacheries because they're drawing nine cards. That's kind of confusing. So Ashiok's in the deck. Yeah, they, they do have that giant board wipe, that's true. They do have the Realm Cloak Giant that can board wipe. Well, that's kind of busted. No, so my opponent has this. That's lethal. They're just, they're just gonna put Golos into play. Yeah, the Kenrith. Kenrith is a huge problem, also, but Agent of Treachery. So I, I feel like I need. Uh, this is, I feel like I need another need another unmoored ego. Agent of Treachery is still just so hard to beat. Even though we got we got rid of all the field of the deads. Maybe I'm even supposed to just say Agent of Treachery. Yeah, I kind of forgot about Kenrith. Like, maybe I was supposed to grab Spyglass to be able to name Kenrith. But, oh well. You know, we're learning.
we're learning. It's hard building reactive decks um, right away in the format. Uh, this was just... Mu Yanling was in the store after M20 came out. I don't know... Um, I don't know if Mu Yanling's still in the store or not, because... Just keep that. Yeah, so it might not be there anymore. It was in a bundle. But you know, once you purchase the bundles, you don't see them anymore, so I don't know when they leave or not. So, Selesnia Adventure Aggro. Hey, Rev Daddy, doing good. Doing good, doing good. sure really what our opponent's waiting on here yeah i could yeah i could definitely see that borderland ranger playing a, thor a thought distortion in the sideboard thought distortion is awesome against the thought distortion is awesome against the um what are they called esper doom the Doom Foretold decks? No, Warheart, not at all. Selesnia and Aggro. There have been a lot of Selesnia Aggro decks over the years. So they're, they're two creature colors. That's, they've just been really weak recently. They've been, uh, especially white, has just been a really weak color recently. Yeah, like I, I would normally want to play multiple and more ego, but I didn't. You know, I have all these other one ofs that I had to take out an ego. But yeah, there's other times where like Selesnia tokens or just like a Selesnia, I guess, is more mid range. <clears throat> but whenever we had. Hangerback Walker and Gideon and Nissa and things like that. Like that was maybe the top deck in standard before. And then, yeah, there's also like the Voice Resurgence time of a bunch of Selesnia aggro decks around then. Yep, Giant Killer, another rare one drop.
So yeah, March of the Multitudes. It's a cool card. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I mean I as y'all know I really like Voice of Resurgence, but yeah, Voice of Resurgence with Veil of Summer and Standard at the same time. It'll definitely be rough for the blue and black decks. So they they can use this adventure here, chop down. So they can chop down the zombie. Not anymore. Um Ritual of Sit, of course, kills our 4-4. Four four. So I would like to be able to trade the 4-4 four four for the Elephant first. And so that's why I wanted to play the Thought Erasure to help that happen. But now we have four spells in our graveyard, so we can also play Rallet to kill the, four, the Elephant as well. I don't think I've seen the Amara full art, Ranklin. I don't think I have. Beat me? You're welcome to try. Alright, we'll just kind of sit back with Ral here. Get one more mana. Like, next turn, like, we tick out, find another land, then we can Fay of Wishes for the, uh, the red enchantment. Maybe I should just play into the God Eternals first. <laughs> Time to choose. Oh, it's so exciting. All right, another march down. Hey, League. Uh, the Simic deck was good, and at the end, we talked about maybe changing it up and turning it into a Fae of Wishes deck, and, and it felt pretty exciting to do that. I think Knights can definitely be competitive. I liked the Knights deck that we played the other day. Peace. I'm out. I like Knights. I honestly don't even know if Fires of Invention is really worth it. Like we already we have the mana to cast multiple spells a turn anyway.
Shepherd of the Flock. Saving the innkeeper. Okay, nice. A final boss win today. Good prediction. So that's why I cast the Ritual of Sit there. I did want to get rid of the innkeeper. But the Shepherd of the Flock hurts my ability to do that. I think like the scariest thing that can probably happen is like a a march of the multitudes. Those who cannot perceive, I have just the trick for this. Quite unfortunate. Phones had some good draws here in a row. So I have like a cry of the carnarium still, got some got some legions end or like one legions end. That was their third and fourth March of the Multitudes. They already had two. Don't think I have a sweeper left in my sideboard. No, I don't. Um, I can, uh, so I can wish for enter the God Eternals, then enter, gain four, go to eight, and then I have two blockers and they have eight creatures. So I'm not, so I think that's better. I don't have the mana for that, do I? I don't have the mana for that. So I guess I scry. Do I have Legion's End in the sideboard? No, I don't have one in the sideboard. Hmm. 
I need need the fires in play for this thing. But I never played that fires. I was just hoping that I drew a basic here, honestly. I thought there was a better chance that I drew a basic than scry two and find something. It doesn't doesn't matter what I choose. If I I shock, I die. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. That was about the only way we could lose that was back-to-back -back March of the Multitude, number three and number four. But that's, that's magic. I had, I had two cards, like, if I would have activated the castle, then we're stuck at just drawing. We were only looking for two cards. There's only one Legion's End and one Cry of the Canarium left. And um, we still could have drawn those two. By not activating, we still could have drawn those two. Plus, we could have drawn our... We had... Uh, I think I think we had three total from Fable, Passage, and Basics that if we draw any of those, we were, we're alive also. And so I think that just... So I thought that just looking out for one... Looking for those with one shot, then... Scry two and look at two shots was worth it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so we'll side out a Legion's End. I, I should have a third Legion's End in the board, I guess. Okay, yeah, to start, yeah, if you want to play standard, basically the thing to do, King Simon, is to find, like, whatever deck you want to play and purchase the singles for that deck. It's a lot better, it's going to work out a lot better for you than, um, than just buying packs and things like that. Like, just get, just, you know, figure out the exact deck you want to play and order the singles for that deck. Gonna be much, much, much more cost effective. There you go, Rackle Guru. Rackle Guru said I had a rough day yesterday, missing lands all the time. Opponents always having perfect answers, and I was losing my mind. But today, I've had a good luck and have won a lot. That's magic. It's day to day thing, you know, game to game. Yeah, that's just Stream Decker overall, I believe, just is is having troubles right now, Rage. Um you should still be able to get to the deck, the the specific deck here. As far as I know. Like the the direct links. Do the deck list still work? It's just the the page with all the decks isn't working. As far as I'm aware. Um, I don't know much about the collector boosters, Wombat. I... I would be surprised if that's a good way to invest with not a lot of money to start buying expensive cards. I would I would be surprised. I I yeah, I can't really imagine that just buying the singles that you want is like that that would be better than just buying the singles that you want. Yeah, if you want you want to see a previous Grixis deck. Um if it's like Grixis, if it's decks I've already played, I guess the only way to to find um, the the only way to find uh, the list is to go to the YouTube channel and 
and you know go to the direct link for the deck list from there for the video until then until it starts working I'm not exactly sure if you if you deputy something and then Oko turns deputy into a 3-3 three, three, maybe the cards just exiled forever honestly I'm not exactly sure I don't think my opponent is just going to play the other love struck beast out there. I don't think they will if I cast drawn from dreams. So I'm just going to ritual of set there. Well, that's what we're saying that stream decker is not working very well. Perfect wall. So that's what we're saying. So I guess I can I can fires and then Fay for ritual of soot. I have to just hope my opponent doesn't have a 1-1 one, one to play so they don't get to attack with the beast. Okay. So our deck needs another land. So we'll play. I guess we'll play a basic mountain for another land. If we're just playing a 26th land. Because we need another land. We're. We don't really have like card draw early to hit land drops to help us hit land drops, and so we're struggling with that. You know, too many mulligans and everything. Um, I think I am going to take out Bedevil for Murderous Rider. Also. Yeah, I just kind of want to be able to play the two three life linker that can you know maybe do like some blocking and you know just just give me like another card kind of thing, another option there. So yeah, we'll play some murderous riders here instead of bedevil. Yeah, that's true. Narset cannot get murderous rider. That is true. I kind of don't like the Narset too much, just in general. I'm going to take out a Narset anyway. I think that's going to be my card I'm going to cut. Narset doesn't help us at land drops. Like, Narset's fine whenever like we're keeping the board clear, but like whenever we're keeping the board clear, we're already doing okay anyway. 
And then sideboard. I think we could use another Legion's End. And another Ego. And so if we put in these in, I think we're gonna we're gonna cut Liliana. We kind of don't. We just don't need Liliana. Um, maybe the Spyglass. Would I rather have duress over negate? Should we play theater fours instead of Narset? I'm not sure if I want duress or negate. I don't, Chandra is not good enough. Don't want Chandra at all. Um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I know casualties is really powerful whenever you get to cast it. Um, if we play casualties, what are we taking out for that? Play two riders, one bedevil. Yeah, I, I don't think I want Chandra Fire Artisan or anything. Well, what, Beso, what card? What do I want Theater of Horrors instead of? I just absolutely hate Theater of Horrors against Teferi, and there's just so many people playing Teferi. I think Theater of Horrors is pretty miserable against Teferi. I don't need more cards. I need less cards in my sideboard. I have 16. I don't need more cards. If we're playing casualties, we don't need Ugin. I think you can we can basically play one of these two. We don't need them both. So I guess we'll take out Ugin. So we can really only play one of those. Okay, we're gonna try this. Let's see if I can update our deck list on Stream Decker with the changes we just made. So we added one mountain. I took out a Narset. Went down to one Bedevil. We played two Murderous Rider.
Ugin and Liliana out of the sideboard for an extra ego and Casualties of War. And the Spyglass is gone for Legion's End. All right, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> no, I don't think there's a card that stops creatures from being played from Exile and Standard. I don't think there is. So it's kind of risky there, Legion's ending that thing instead of um, <clears throat> the knight because we have the, the you know we have the noxious grasp that doesn't kill knight that kills the growth chamber guardian. But I kind of figured if they were just willing to play like the growth chamber guardian there, maybe they had a backup. So I was kind of thinking. Alright, hopefully we draw an untap land and we can grasp and thought erasure. Nope. So we could double erasure next turn. Okay, so the cards come back. So if you kill an elk to deputy, they the cards come back. Thanks for thanks for the science there, DRG. These castle lock twains are going to be kind of rough. Trying to grind them out. Another time, Planeswalker. We definitely need to gain life. The focus and meditate and prepare. <sighs> Tyrant Scorn worked, of course, really well with Rider and Fae of Wishes, being able to bounce them also. That is awesome. So they want the extra life because of Castle Lock Twain. But we want the extra life so we don't die. They, of course, have to use the castle on my turn. Mine. 
correct. Yep, we can wish for casualties of war. Um, but casualties of war would only we could blow up one castle, but they have two castles. Dang. <laughs> Those are four cards I wouldn't mind them drawing. All right, it worked better already. I don't know if our changes really did too much there. I mean, the Murderous Rider helps just with the lifelink, I guess. Yeah, because we got to block with it. Yeah, so the Murderous Rider was good. All right, extra Noxious Grasp, uh, extra Ritual of Soot. Yeah, Soot's gonna be better than Cry the Cranarium. We have to be worried about like the the seven six. I also like how Enter the God Eternals matches up against um, the Flyer. Everybody's playing these like Spawn of Mayhem. I'm gonna cut a Fay of Wishes. It's pretty slow. Our our opponent's pretty aggressive. All right, I'm more confident in the deck now after our changes. Dismal backwater. Ooh, I like another thought razor. We're gonna have that on turn two and turn three now. Um, yeah, most likely it's better to have in main deck, but you do want, you do want cards to be able to get with, um, with Fae of Wishes for sure. What's up, Shadows Fall? I think you probably want your best cards in the main deck, especially, it, it kind of depends on the tempo of the matchup too. The slower the deck you're playing against, the, the more likely you're going to be casting Fae of Wishes and things like that. Um, also... So the easier it is to have those kind of cards in your sideboard instead of in your main deck. Yeah, it does make you want to say it. Dismal Backwater. All right, three of those things out of here, and we're still at 21. Good trades for us so far. Obviously, Murderous Rider gets to take out Nicol Bolas. They do have to exile have something. In exchange for eternal servitude. Scorn, why can't you bounce my Nicol Bolas? I have a plan. I outsmarted you eons ago. Oh yeah, there's yeah, there's a lot of a lot of pretty good ways a lot of good ways to use fires of invention. Um Yeah, nothing wrong with Jess Guy. I liked I liked the teamer deck that we played before as well. Well, I, you know, we'd been flooding, or like we we had not been able to hit land drops, and so I I took out a Narset for a mountain, and this would look a lot better as Narset right now. Teamer's been better for you over Grixis. Yep. 
A lot of good green cards. Yeah, you get to ramp. Questing Beast is one of the very best cards in Standard. It is very, very good. Um... So keep them from being able to just to, to continually gain life to help out their castle. Yeah, gaining two life with the castle is pretty important. I wish I had one more mana so I could grab Command the Dread Horde. The nth power carry the one. Yep. Odds of victory look good. You sure showed me. We get something good. That worked. E. That's scary. I guess I don't get to tick up. I guess I have to tick down. All right, so the plan is to try to block and bounce. Do a block and bounce combo. All right, and now I have Bay plus six mana, so I get to command the Dread Horde. Okay. So we're at 20. So four. Teen. So we're down to six. Did you play Golgari Control yet? Um, what did they just do? Veil of Summer? That's pretty good. If I have removal for beast, I'm dead. It's definitely not hoping for a Veil of Summer. I wanted to use one of these Planeswalkers to get rid of this Regisaur. I don't know exactly why they used it then, but... All right, we'll see. 
No, Regisaur is not Trample. Um, I, I don't think I have a Golgari control. Like, there's Rakdos control that we're gonna play later on. Like, we're we're going down the line here. I don't I don't know exactly what Golgari control. There. Okay. Still alive. All right. All right, one and two. <clears throat> Turned out that ma that mountain helped that extra land instead of being Narset definitely helped. That was close. I was kind of relying on those, one of those planeswalkers to kill that 7-6. So that was pretty scary there. Yeah, I really, yep, I like, I really like Tamiyo in the team reversion. Yeah, if, all the, the previous decks I played, yeah, with, with Stream Decker not working too well, you can you can check out you know check out the YouTube channel, go to go to the video tab. You can see all the previous decks we've played, um, and there's links to the deck list for each one of those, so you can kind of you can so you can see what you have there. We've played a couple of different Golgari decks. We played like Golgari Adventures. We played Golgari um, Troll. We built a Clackbridge Troll Golgari deck. Like maybe that's the one you're thinking of. So unfortunately, only two black sources toward Dragon God anyway with this hand. These are the decks we're playing today over here on the left. We played Teamer before, but we also had trouble with... I had trouble with the recording with that one because after our first four matches, my computer shut off. Hey, what's up, Paul? I don't have anything to exile these Midnight Reapers. I don't have, like, Lava Coil. So do I kill those or do I kill this priest? I think I kill those. Cry the Carnarium. Man, Cry the Carnarium would be an amazing draw. Unfortunately, it's in my main. I don't I don't have an extra Cry the Carnarium in the sideboard to wish for. Yeah, I know, right? Normally they have three gutter bones in hand except for whenever you have the Legion's End. That's a good one. Yeah, wish I had. Wish I had Cry the Carnarium over here. Midnight Reaper is annoying. be the best if we just drew a removal spell for reaper and we got to use that then so it
black and green are the two best colors in standard for sure so yeah crafting black and green cards is pretty safe yeah i, I like Rao more than big chandra Wow. That works. I have practiced against many foes like you. So now they can only they only get to draw one card. Rider Monkey with the support there. Thank you so much there, Rider Monkey. That definitely helped. Oh yeah, I don't I don't know why they didn't sack in response to the Narset, but I guess I guess because then if if they do, then I don't necessarily need to ritual of set. I guess. to stay alive it's not easy mm. need a land guess we'll take this thing uh, I don't know what Okay, that ritual so was pretty clutch, man. This this Narset, one of the best Narsets I've ever had. This was one of the best Narsets I've ever had. I don't know if I actually want to allegiance end this thing. I guess I do. I know we need that mountain in the sideboard. Yep, real happy with how the YouTube channel is going. For sure, I really appreciate. All of y'all over on YouTube, checking out the videos and everything, and leaving the comments, and liking the videos, subscribing to the channel, all that kind of stuff. So we got we got really lucky a couple of times there. The top deck Fires of Invention was perfect. The top deck Narset the next turn was also perfect. We had two perfect top decks in a row. All right, so we'll take out. We'll take out these Noxious Grasps. Um, I kind of want to leave the Legion's End and the Ritual of Sid in the in the board to Fey of Wishes for. Maybe not the Legion's End. Maybe just the Ritual of Sid. Maybe we just go with that. Get the Enter so that we just have Ritual of Sid, basically. Kind of makes our Fey of Wishes pretty poor. We'll cut a Fey. And I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna play the fourth invention over here. I think I would rather 
Faye for some interaction, then Faye for invention. <laughs> That's such a good emote. Well, not the best hand against an aggro deck being on the draw, but we're not going to mulligan turn four fires plus dreams. I may just have to throw this Fey out there as a blocker on two, honestly. Hey, I've had a lot of Rager's good, though. Fires of Invention. Take Fires of Invention. Take Fires of Invention. Take Fires of Invention. Darn, didn't work. What? We got Shrieked. I have not. I'm going to play Esper Doom tomorrow. As part of my 12-hour stream, I've had a lot, a lot of people ask me about playing that deck. So we're gonna play that tomorrow. Hmm. I I wanted to take Midnight Reaper with this, but I guess there's a Yara also. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what deck I'm gonna be playing for the event this weekend. Probably, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out because we haven't tried it out. But probably the Simic Ramp that we played today. At the end of the the Simic Ramp video, we talked about adding in Fey of Wishes, and and we made a Fey of Wish version of it, and it looked really intriguing. So probably that. We go to seven. Time to make them start exiling stuff. They only got six permanents over there. One of them's gone. They can choose any of them, Hawkeye. My revenge will be pain witness a moat of my power. One of them's gone, Hawkeye. Yeah, honestly, maybe this deck is better without Fave Wishes. I don't know. And just emphasizing more on draw Drawn from Dreams. I shouldn't play that land, should I? Maybe I shouldn't because of Fey. I probably should not have played that. Hey, what's up, Drew? Thank you so much there. Yeah, I, I completely regret playing that land. Hmm. 
That was bad. Because if I had the land, I'd be able to have the, the Fae of Wishes could chump this knight, and then they activate knight, and then we discard our two cards and put the Fae back into our hand. But it's all good. It worked. We're two and two. Our changes have worked out just fine. Murderous Rider has been good. Yeah, you're going four drawn. Yeah, I could definitely see going that route, going four drawn and then playing. Um, so, like, if we took out four Fae of Wishes, then we would have. We'd. We'd have room for two more Dawn, and then we could play, like, two Theater of Horror or something else like that. But then, yeah, we'd want to play We'd want to play a lot more of the, the top end stuff. Um, also, though, because, like, in the main deck, like, kind of the good part about playing Fae of Wishes is we don't need the top end stuff in the main deck. Hello. Krakaz is a cool, cool streamer. Very good streamer. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play that. Or croquis. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, Faye is good with fires, but I don't think it's necessary. I think, um, you know, I think we could just have Drawn from Dreams. Because you get to dig so far with Drawn from Dreams. So. I think you can kind of go either route, and it's all good. Oh, I should yeah, I should check that out. I I saw Waifu Gate play in this deck um, two days ago or yesterday. I think it was yesterday actually. I should check out that wishboard. Your Grixis secret is covetous urge. So we'll play Soot here, so when one of these things gets played, get to draw two, they're up to five cards again, but we'll play Soot here, and then we'll Fey for Fires. Next turn. We'll get the two innkeepers out of here, though. No, mass manipulation doesn't work with fires. Um, yeah, I mean, I have... Do I, or do I enjoy the play style of fires? You say it feels like a, playing a subpar combo deck. You can't say that you love it. I can see that. I don't necessarily love it either. It's not my favorite. But I like playing Nicol Bolas Dragon God. That's the way we get to.
Questing Beast is pretty broken. Playing Arclight Phoenix. Well, milling my opponent's probably not a good idea with Arclight Phoenix over there. I'm really hoping the Phoenix doesn't come out this turn. Looks like it will, though. Just have one card over here. I could like go grab one more ego and name Merchant of the Veil, and then these things are just gone. Oh, does Unwardy go not get them from exile? So never mind, that won't work. I shouldn't do that. Bay of Wishes is a really good roadblock for Arclight Phoenix. It's quite a good roadblock there. So, of course, we're taking out our Noxious Grasps. I guess, no, they're playing, no. Yeah, Questing Beast. I was like, we'll get rid of Crowther Carnarium. Legion's End doesn't seem like it does very much. Oh, yeah, they have they have the Edgewall Innkeeper. Hmm. All right, final answer. Here we go. I don't know if I actually want this Ashiok. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess Cry is just amazing against Phoenix. Well, good. We have it in the sideboard, so we get to wish for it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. My deck is filled with black mana. 
We do need to draw a black mana. But just one black source. I really like having Thought Erasure. There we go. You're welcome, Plumber. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, Oko is incredible. Happy I could help there. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah, you can. That certainly could have been too hasty in my part. Hoping to draw another land and be able to play Cry and Nicol Bolas this next turn. What's going on here? Why did they make this so difficult? It's probably not that difficult. We need to get this fifth land. I'm glad we added a 26 land to our deck, though. Makes it a little easier to get this fifth land. But we do need to find it. We'll be milling ourselves over, and not them, of course. If we do get to play Enter the God Eternals, that is. I kind of assume that's the thrill of possibility in their hands. will remake the multiverse. In my image. No! Let your weak minds crumble. But it could be Veil of Summer. Alright, so we ended up with three with a three and two there with Grixis Fires. Um Good question, Garth. I'll, I'll answer that here in just a second. But first, alright, so we'll talk about the this deck. So yeah, it played a lot better after the changes there. Midstream. Um, you know, like so we, we played our first two. Our deck was was too clunky, the twenty five lands. We had too many times we just couldn't hit land drops. 
had to mulligan too much um, because we didn't have the lands, uh, you know, because we didn't have enough lands and everything. Um, and then it, it definitely felt better after that. Uh, this is... Okay, well, I'm, I was trying to put the lands over here, but it's just acting all buggy. Anyway, um, yeah, Murder Rider was really good. I liked that over Bedevil. I could definitely, I, I'm definitely willing just to go three Murder Rider and not play Bedevil at all. I liked this quite a bit. You know, the the two three Life Linker, um, because this deck plays really long games and uh, gets to the gets to point of games where the 2 3 lifelinker isn't really outclassed on the battlefield too much or maybe you know maybe it gets to block to be able to keep your nickel bolus alive you know it does lose that 2 life immediately but we had times that we were gaining more than 2 back from the riders so i liked that murderous rider quite a bit there um thanks media ggs um Noxious Grasp in the main never cost us. Uh, we did play against a couple of decks where it was a dead card, but we were pretty fortunate not to draw it in those times. But it was basically good against everybody. Um, and, yeah, like, that last that last match, Fires of Invention, was the best it was in any game. It was really great, that last match. But yeah, basically really liked just the, the 20, having the 26 land and then having Murderous Rider instead of Bedevil. Those made a big difference there. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, Will, no, it should just be set up. Like, just to send DMs to me on Discord. It should just, like, you, you're you good to go. Um, yeah. All right, anyway, that's Grixis Fires. Uh, so started off 0-2, switched some stuff up, came back, won the last three in a row. So good. Um, good showing there. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And please leave some comments. Let me know. Uh, what do you think of this Fire Zone Invention build? Let me know what you think of Fae of Wishes compared to playing more card draw with Narsets and Drawn from Dreams. And then then you'd have to have bigger stuff in the main deck, like your six mana Planeswalkers and everything like that in the main deck. So yeah, leave some comments, everything over there too. But thank you so much for watching some Grixis Fires, and I'll see you for the next video.